Lola Lennox has just released a highly anticipated debut EP, Dreamer, and single, Dreamer, which is out now with accompanying music video. Welcome to the show, Lola Lennox. Hello, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. First of all, could you tell us about how you started in music? Yeah, I mean, I've been singing since I was really young. When I was like seven, I started to have singing lessons at school and I was in the choirs and I would find CDs in my house and write down lyrics and learn the songs. Like, it really spoke to me from a really young age um, and it just felt like, wow, if my adult life can be all about making music, I would be so happy to do that. Um, and I was a bit older when I started to, to write songs and I was about 15, I started writing songs, um, had a little notebook and I would quite quietly go off and write my little teenagery songs um, that, <laughs> looking back, I'm like a bit embarrassed by them, but you've got to start <laughs> somewhere. Of course you do. And yes, and you've done very, very well out of it as well. Um, where do you get your musical inspiration from? Everywhere, you know, musically, I like listening to the great, like, Dusty Springfield, Nina Simone, um, David Bowie, Kate Bush. But I also find in terms of like lyricism and storytelling, like I keep my eyes open to the world, you know, my my stories and experiences. I, I like to dig into my my own psyche and kind of understand my place in the world and look at other people's emotional reactions and how people form their characters and apply that to the stories that I talk about in my songs. Because it is nice when artists are telling stories and songs rather than just having like a hook and then, you know, repeating the same kind of um, lyrics over and over again. And that's um, something that um, you're actually bringing to us fabulous uh, stories with your music and also magical melodies as well. Well, thank you so much. You know, when I listen to a song, I want it to bring me some sort of comfort or joy it's, it's a cathartic thing so for me every time i write a song I, I want it to have substance and depth i also love a catchy melody like you can't go wrong with a yes. catchy melody but the balance but yeah. uh, thank you yes you've definitely got the perfect balance um going back in time a little bit back to 2020 you did a duet with your mother annie uh, of her big number one hit there must be an angel for global citizen one world together at home which received over 270 million viewers what was it like doing the duet and performing with your mother annie it was really special it was right at the beginning of the pandemic so everyone felt so unsure and distant and that day where the music came out felt like a day of supporting the frontline workers and it felt like a bit of people were uniting through the screens a little bit yes. and the music were up, was uplifting people so it felt like a day of hope you know in a very dark time absolutely fantastic and a massive audience there i'm, I'm surprised you didn't get a, a television special out of that <laughs> it was a lot I'm, I'm kind of glad i didn't know how many it would be until after <laughs> <laughs> excellent um you have also recently uh, just performed at a special gala evening of music with the roger daltrey and friends of teenage cancer trust would you be able to tell us about that and how it went yeah so they invited me to perform um at the royal albert hall which is like wow, wow. i mean it was totally pinch me moment stepping out onto yeah. the stage but I mean the the most meaningful part of it was getting to support a charity like the Teenage Cancer Trust they do such incredible things for young people with this horrible disease and getting to offer my music to make people smile a little bit really was so rewarding for me excellent and was there any other stars on the bill as well uh Richard Ashcroft was there uh the guy far from Saints was there so that's the singer from Stereophonics um it was some some rock legends in the building. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, I bet it sounded great as well. It's a shame that wasn't streamed as well. <laughs> I, I hope I did. <laughs> <laughs> Your EP Dreamer is out now. And are the tracks written about life experiences that you've had? Yeah, definitely. Like every life experience that I go to, I try to make into song it's a bit like alchemy you can go through something horrible and turn it into gold and something that means something to you um 
and yeah every every song is a different kind of chapter in my life and um it, it means a lot to get to release a body of music that's not just a snapshot of a single it's like it feels like it's telling a bit more of a story and gives a little more insight into into my world i particularly like the track hourglass could you tell me the inspiration for that song yeah, so Hourglass, I wrote that with Egg White, who's an incredibly prolific songwriter, and it was a dream come true to, to work with him. He wrote Chasing Pavements with Adele, as well as many others. But um, the meaning of Hourglass, you know, it's a really vulnerable song, and listening to it almost makes me feel a bit on edge, because it's that vulnerable. I'm like, oh, this is this is too much. Yeah. But <laughs> it's, um, it's kind of about when you're in love with somebody, and it can be so linked with hurt and pain and you think why why did something so beautiful and and loving go go to this place that's can be so complicated and sometimes it feels like you can be in love with someone but you know it's going to end and that's the the symbolism of hourglass and it's the it's very the, when you listen to the single it's uh, off the ep it's absolutely it's lovely it's it's the it's quite dramatic and it, it really gives you a feel for the lyrics as well with all of the um instruments and everything i absolutely love it thank you so much is there a favorite track from the ep dreamer that is your favorite are they all your babies as it were all your favorites I think I go through different times of liking different ones, but right now, because it's a single and I feel like I'm celebrating it, it and the name is Dreamer, so right now it's got to be Dreamer, you know, it's a really uplifting song, it's full of hope, and it's a song that is, um, it's got a beat to it, and you can kind of bop around, but it's also got, like, some vulnerability and, like, some, some, like, some, it's got hope and sorrow, I'd say, in there, and that, that, I like that dichotomy, because I think as humans, that's, that's kind of who we are in a way. Well, look into your bright future. What can listeners expect to see or hear from Lola Lennox in the future? Well, now that the EP is out, um, I'm looking forward to getting back into the studio and, and kind of getting into like a blind tunnel of, of writing. I haven't done that in a while. And well, I've been, I, I always am writing, but I haven't really been like digging in and that making that the number one priority for a while. So very excited hopefully an album will come out of it but we'll, we'll see what happens with, with the music will show itself to me and in the future do you think you'll cover any of the of your mother's tracks maybe walking on broken glass <laughs> or maybe some of the eurythmics classics i would say we would do maybe a duet in the future because right. I, I love to sing with her if something came up which felt appropriate maybe but i i think right now i, I like to stick to my own stuff in general what about sisters are doing it for themselves <laughs> standing on their own two feet you might have to change the lyric though to like mothers <laughs> and daughters <laughs> well that's correct that's true well lola thank you so much for joining me on the show this week and i would like to say good luck for the ep which is available now and also for your single as well dreamer Finally, would you like to introduce your latest single? Hi, I'm Lola Lennox, and you're about to hear my new single, Dreamer. Lola Lennox, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me on, appreciate it.